Geogwitch, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Back here in Massage 2ABB at Myron, my lovely uh, cold setup. Uh, it's looking beautiful if I must do say so myself. Uh, working perfectly. Hopefully my tractors are still running. Why is it three tractors? Um, Let's yeah, two tractors still making funny things up there. Hopefully they're okay. Uh, hopefully. Please be okay. Yeah, it's one's coming down. Flying it down. So, you wait. We have a few things to sort out. So the first things first, I can... I want to get rid of all of those these milestones and get them out of the way. Do I have enough? I, I, I do indeed. Let's improve melee. Milestone reached. R and D inflated your pocket dimension, added an additional hand equipment slot, and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. Oh yes, they did, and I am getting this. I need two Xeno Zappers and five hundred. Um, 500 wire or copper wire whichever one it is so now I make my lovely new Xeno Basher this is my new way to kill everything as fast as I can why did I make two Xeno Zappers I already had one uh, give me a second I get rid of this Xeno Zapper now and now I can use this beauty <laughs> this looks good Yes, yes, I'm going to spank you with this. Okay, so nuts. I need nuts. Lots of nuts. Uh, do we have... Is he coming back? Oh, he is, yes. There he is. So I was finishing up there. Do I not have a hard drive? I thought I had another hard drive. No, I don't. No, not too lucky. He's back, and... I got myself a cup. I've actually bought, pre-ordered a cup and the Employee of the Month cup. So I can't wait for those to arrive. I think I'll probably have them way before I have the Employee of the Month cup. Uh, definitely. I only need 150 of those bad boys. I find actually this is the quickest way to get down. I spawn back at the toilet. And look, I've got all my bits and bobs again. Which is great. Okay, so back in. We get the wire. And the last of our things. Kadunk. We got basic steel Milestone production reached. unlocked. Steel production unlocked. Yeah, I know. Now, but the first thing before I do... Oh, God, I'm stuck. First thing before I do anything is... I have to... Bye. Tidy up this. I have to increase all my belts uh, to Mark II's and uh, set it all up and then I'll show you what I've done. But anyways, yeah, I got to increase all these to Mark II. So with the full 120 coming from downstairs now, I can actually turn on all eight of these. So the full four, that's three, six, nine, twelve, 120 being consumed here and 120 iron ingots being produced on both sides now um, if I go down here I can show you that the 120 iron ingots on the right hand side they are feeding off um, they're feeding up into this production line here so effectively I have to just make sure see what's upstairs so on the first row here so these are my 120 so this 120 off these four is feeding these two rows of constructors. So there's 15 ingots per minute here. So it's 15, 30, 60. That's 60 in that row and 60 in this row. And that's also 120 iron ingot output. Okay, so I have three constructors here producing screws. Now these are all set to 100%, so it's just 30 actually iron rods um, out of 120. So that leaves 90 left over. That's 90 iron rods to do whatever I need to do with. 
Um, so potentially I can increase rotor production here. So screws are 60 per minute. Why do I have... Isn't the plates over here is taking the other screws? The R&D. So 60 here. Um, effectively, I could delete all these machines in the middle and increase their production. I don't need storage up here. Um, okay, so this is modular frames. And that's taking the rods as well. 12 per minute. Right, give me five minutes. Uh, do a couple of things. Calculations in my head. Do some deleting. And uh, figure out, because... Okay. Look at him go! We'll see you later, tractor! Well, after a bit of chopping and changing, um, this is the top floor. And that is everything being used, with a bit of excess. So, where are what I'm producing? So, 10 on reinforced iron plates, 4 rotors per minute, and I have, well, 4 of the uh, reinforced iron plates are going here, so it's only 6 reinforced iron plates left over. Uh, so, that's 4 modular frames, 4 rotors, and 6 reinforced iron plates. Now that's all off 240 iron ore. So that's basically all the first startup uh, items. From these two miners producing 120 each. Being fed in. Now the figures are. So this I'm not I'm not just getting these. I'm also getting uh, 20 screws, 16 rods, and 20 plates as well. That's excess overspoon my storage set up for my other guys here uh, can I get on this ladder? nope nope go for no 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 so this is my storage for my plates my rotors and my modular frames and I have accumulated 26 tokens so they will definitely come in handy on unlocking extra bits and pieces Whoop. Now, and then... Our next aim is to get here anyways. But to get there, I need to start producing steel. Heavy modular frames. Wow. They're going to be fun. We have hyper tubes here when we get... So if you unlock this one first, then build a factory for the encased duster beam, then move on to the hyper tubes, and then this bad boy. And this is the one that's going to help us out because, again, conveyor mark three. When this is built, I can utilize it to have this whole factory off one node over here. Uh, but first of all, have I had in here? No, I don't. Tokens. So what are we going to spend the tokens on? I have 26. Oh my god, this, these are expensive. Ten. Oh, but look at all the frames. Walkways, that's 5, that's 10, that's 12, just for the walkways. I want to have those for my factories. But I want everything. Uh, walls. Holy. Now, I need conveyor walls. Oh my god, there's going to be so much detachments. Pipelines, a pipeline hole, wall, hyper tubes. Okay, conveyors, uh, foundations, organization. Ooh, the signs. And then all the boxes as well. This guy won't be getting for yet. The customizer. Look at all the different types of materials. Oh my god, look at all these. Concrete walls, steel walls, equipment. No, I don't need any of that. Or parts. Alright, well, the one thing I want is conveyor walls because that way I can close off all the conveyors that's coming out there. So, definitely that. Okay, so that's you. Hmm. 
All right, I want to go with the pillars. See, there's metal and concrete. So I want to go with the pillars to basically hold up my structures, actually. I add that on. Go with the metal pillar. Um, I go for my walkways. What do we have? How much do I have now? The bio. That's grand. Another fifteen to go. So I might as well go for these. Maybe these cheap ones. That's thirteen. Twelve there. Right. Walls. Tilted. Doors. Alright, I think I'm gonna go with these ones. That's 13, so that gives us two left. Doors. Ta da! So that at least helps us out in unlocking a lot of the uh the building so i can start in some way decorating these now i have to figure out how i'm going to build them though big concrete pillar how does that look like Ooh, that looks nice That doesn't look too bad, actually. I like it. Um, is there anything else you can stick onto these? And there's big frame pillars as well. So we could do this and have the... Oh, I need steel for that. That's weird. Okay. Um... I do here take that away can I get on the big sport pillar yeah that looks actually quite nice I like that so that's something that adds some sort of structure and I could have one here and one here. Again, like the idea is... Uh, do I really want to... I want to leave the bottom for the roads. Or for all the tractors and stuff. How does that look from over here? It's actually quite off. Oh my god. How did I, what did I do there? Just gonna take that away. Quick experiment here. Right, I wonder if I take this away as well. How does it look on the top? It looks okay. Um, yeah. And then I can have them so far dotted around here like a little grid. But yeah, next step is to quickly jump in. I'm going to have to rebuild this down here. Um, tidy up upstairs and redo my concrete down there. So I want to get all these with the conveyor walls and uh, sort of tie those up and so not have them sticking out like this. Um, yeah, so look at I get these other bits uh, tidied up, and then uh, we'll see how we get on there with some decorating of this building.
I think I'm just gonna... Can I climb up here? Can I climb up here? Is this directly above my head? Maybe there? Climb up there and I'm gonna rob. Steal this from right off from underneath. Whatever's up there. It's mine now. And back down. So I came over here and sort of cleared this area. I'm um, looking at... I just sort of half tidied up at the moment. I have saw my, my copper done. I have the conveyors all leading over here at the moment. Just stopping there. And if you look over there in the distance. You can see that the concrete is done as well. And it is conveying over to this structure. I'm sort of looking thinking about this is going to be some sort of storage center layer just for a lot of bits and bobs bits and pieces but over here is where i'm going to start processing my steel so steel eh where are my buildings uh, it would have if i had bits and pieces to build it with so now that i have building blocks so what i need here is iron and coal 45 per minute Oh, that's like the concrete. It's 45 per minute and the coal is up there. Um, so 45 per minute, which means I need to set up the third truck. I want more than the 120. So at the moment I have 123 over there. But I need more than 120 per minute. So I want 240. The so 45 by 299 is 18. Is roughly five machines. So 240 divided by 45, 5.33 machines. So five machines. And uh, if producing 45 N N 45 multiplied by five. So 225 per minute steel. Um, if I then put that into, is it constructor? Yeah, steel beams and steel pipes. Steel beams is 50, Ooh, not bad. And what is steel pipes? 20. So effectively steel beams Hmm, what else? So steel beams and steel pipes. Uh, it's 20, so 225. 60. 75, that is 4 5 machines. 75, 225 minus 75. 5 minus 75, it's 150. Divided by 20. Alright, 225 minus 75 is 150. 150 divided by 20. Seven and a half machines. So... Five machines, this is five fives. 50, 75 being produced. Oh wait. 60 ingots. Where am I going? 30. I can really only have two, six, six, twelve, eighteen, two hundred and twenty-five. So six, six, twelve. That's one hundred and twenty. And then two, two, five. After that, that's four. Four machines, really. Four. That's one hundred and twenty. Twelve. That's only thirty. Um. Yeah. Look. At, first of all, right. Stop eating. And get a platform built up here and see what what we get to work at. So a quick update here in that I have a I have my second truck station running coal from up top. So now I have the 360 coal coming down 
from upstairs. I have 240 now coming into this truck stop here and 120 going up into my coal. So, but I have the coal, the, sorry, the power sort of separated out from the double station so that at least then I always have something coming in there if there's any shortage or over pull from this station. Um, I also have the fuel for this station for any trucks that's going to link up to it. And I'm going to jump into this and do a quick uh, route recording. Uh, start recording. Close that. Perfect. So this is why I wanted all my factories raised. Because I can do things like this. I can run the tractors underneath and have a bit of fun with them. Yeah, so why, if it's not in the game, why don't... Might as well use it while it's there. Uh, go up here. Quick, that's great. Around the corner. You can see we have a nice truck stop here set up. And get around the corner. F. So one, two, three, four, five six and off we go again have to complete the path first of all anyways so perfect now we can save the path I'm gonna save this is steel one I'm going to give me a second able autopilot that's perfect Uh, is autopilot off? It's on. Perfect. Jump off. And away you go. And I'm going to remove this node. Just sort of keep it. I'd have to stick on an extra one here. Because I sort of made a boo boo there. And drove a lot too close to the edge. Uh, this was unload perfect head over and just make sure the other one is set up okay all right well, that was set on load so i've set it back to unload to load now so that should feed in here that is 120 for the moment just being fed upstairs and what i have up here just something straightforward and simple Get over here. So I have all divisions again underneath. And I have three boundaries here converting the steel and coal in, or sorry, iron and coal into steel. So I'll have to reduce these down because I only have 120 coming in. I've reduced these down to 40. Uh, copy that setting. Paste, great. And that is so simple. That's the first bits coming up. I had the load. I had the truck stops all set up. Right, why isn't that coming in there? That's coming in there, okay. That one's coming in and there, okay. So what is wrong here? Potentially, did I not connect this a second time? All right, so bang, that's it, perfect. Down here, turn around. That work? Yeah, that worked, perfect. Actually, I have any coal on me, I don't need on me. No, I don't. So that's great, that's that part of the factory done. Now I just have to convert these to steel steel beams and steel pipes. Wish me luck. Well, converting 120 steel ingots was pretty... What happened here? Pretty straightforward uh, in regards uh, converting steel beams and steel pipes. So I have 60 ingots there producing... 15 beams, that is quite a low conversion rate. And then I have 30 and 20 and 30 and 20 here for pipes. 
Uh, I thought I had tried to wait for pipes. All right. <laughs> Again, all divided and combined all downstairs. Uh, power grid is connected underneath as well. And this is the end result down here. So we have them all being piped out here. And for now, I just have them feeding into these two containers. But what we're going to do quickly here is grab some of these. Some of these. Maybe tipping away at some of these here. Uh, I'm looking for the two belts. Yeah, just to get some of these researched out of the way. That So we have a Advanced Steel Production and Logistics Mark Three. Advanced Steel here. Unlocks all of this. Oh, crap. I forgot. Rotors and cable so routers and cables got junk unlocks the day in case industrial beams which is mark four mark four belts but technically i don't need the mark four belts yet um because mark three belts use beams um what i'm looking at here is uh steel pipes so Technically, I could convert, now that I have potentially enough steel pipes, uh, sort of in storage for what I need for the for, for the short term, just to keep it all off my back, um, I could convert it all into uh, steel beams and then start updating con conveyor, mac uh, conveyor belt threes. Uh, but also here I have a nice, I'm looking at these hyper tubes. Uh, 15 kiss encased industrial beams uh, pretty straightforward um, I could so if I convert all of the steel into um, beams I could just have one machine feeding off that and uh, producing the encased industrial beams and feed uh, do I have where is nope wrong button do 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 Limestone. Yes, there is limestone just up there. Yeah, see, look at it right here. We have limestone. So that's the limestone all lined up. So preliminary, this is going to be the top of this building. And you can see how the concrete is just going to flow into the upper line. This is all going to be just underneath the roof of this building. However, I'm going to uh, lay it out. Now that's going to push it across there. And that's going to cross there. What am I doing? I'm about to feed in limestone, aren't I? I'm about to feed concrete. Oh, God. Scratch that one. And do we have it fixed? Of concrete, but now I have a load of uh, limestone on the belt. Now, Jesus, talk about a kick in the ribs. Now, we have it. So, eventually, that's coming in now. Uh, uh, don't fall all the way down because I'll die. Um, should have a few bits in here. I do indeed. Which means potentially we can unlock the last milestone. And he... Presto. Milestone reached. Fixit Incorporated has processed and incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe-based personal transport. Introducing hypertubes. So yeah, yeah. That is the last uh, milestone under tier four. So we're already up to the space elevator phase two. And uh, yeah, that's going to make it interesting for the next stage because that's a that changes a lot because there's a lot more to that. What am I like for electricity? There's a lot more to the phase two than there is the phase one. And such and such, 345 megawatts production. Uh, there's a lot more to it now. 
We'll have more coal expansion. Power. But yeah, that is it. So, got a lot done, actually. Got a lot of tidying up done. So the concept of what this base, this section of the bases are going to look like. And I'm missing something here. My guy is gone completely. Um, but yeah, but that's okay. Um, got steel set up. Everything I need to do for steel. So, next stage. The next stage. Space elevator stage 2. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to showing you sort of my plan for what I'm going to do for the space elevator. Uh, what's going on in my head. And uh, look at Have a nice evening and weekend. Whatever time you're watching this at. And we'll see you later. Slán.